Hello and welcome to another video from Dale Farm. I'm in the hay loft this morning because outside it is rather blustery and blowy and I don't think you'd be able to hear anything that I was saying. Um, we are working with the sheep today so I will try and grab some bits and bobs to show you what we are up to. I think it's about the 19th of October um, and so it's uh, worming and a bit of sorting out and as always looking at uh, feet. Right well this morning we're just going to uh, give the use their autumn worm and fluke drench uh, and then we'll be going to the ram in about a, a month. We've cleared all the lambs out, the first lot of lambs went on September the 24th and then the last lot in October and the trade at the moment for store lambs in the UK is really a flyer. We've had one of the best years we've, we've ever had uh, and lamb sales were well in the high 80s which is a really good figure for us. So we're very satisfied with things, we just wanted two lame ewes to look at as usual and another one or two lambs to sort out and then the job's looking pretty good. We trimmed all the tails out a couple of week ago so uh, yeah I'm very pleased with how they look. It's also been a very favourable autumn, we've had some amazing weather in September and October, the grass is still growing. So uh, that's helping with winter uh, feed supplies. So yeah, all good at the moment. And um, why do you think the prices are good? What? I really can't work it. I don't really know because it's, some people say there's a bit of a shortage, but I can't, I, I really don't know. Strange time, we're living in very strange times. But, uh, so this is the first pen. Yeah. Um, they're all looking rather well these aren't they? They're very good. So this is the first pen that we've just wormed and the green mark on the back of the neck means that they've been wormed and then you can see that a few of them have got a blue stripe and the blue stripe means that they um, are going to go to our ram Bert first um, and the others it doesn't matter they can go to either Vlad or Bert but some of these sheep have been born on the farm so they need to go to the new ram who we got last, last autumn. So do you want to let those go? As you can see, it's a bit of a wet and wild, windy day today. Um, the leaves are kind of coming off the trees a bit now, and it's very damp and blustery. Right, Jumping on for a bit of a voiceover here. Um, so as this is our working pen, I really like the pen to be quite full when you're trying to work with the sheep so that they can't move around as much. It's actually easier for me to um, to do what I need to do. Um, if there's too much space in the pen, I find that they can just move around and get away from you and you just end up racing around after them. So after we initially filled the pen, I was like, let's get a few more in. It's better to work that way. Thank you. 
So watch closely what happens here with the sheep. They start budging the pen and it moves and the gate wasn't latched, so the gate flung open, which was a moment of... Um, how did that happen? Which uh, tends to happen pretty much every time that we're working with the sheep. Something always goes a little bit wrong. Um, so as a result of that, we were marking the sheep with green marks on the back of the neck. So when we brought the sheep in for the second time round, um, the second time checking for lameness, uh, we just had to pick out the ones that didn't have the green mark. So all was not lost. Um, it was just one of those things, lesson learned, latch the gate. This was actually the easiest and most straightforward part of the day because after that it was time to get really dirty um, and start looking at the feet, trimming out the hooves, treating any lame ones. We actually had one ewe that had maggots in her foot um, and a lamb as well. So it was, it was disgusting. It was the usual... Um, getting very very uh, stuck in and also trimming out a few of the lamb's tails um, so that took up most of the afternoon um, but I didn't really get any filming of that because it was everyone's hands on deck me and dad so no opportunity to really film uh, working with the feet <laughs> Yeah, so we probably want to clean the pen down before we start looking at the feet. Yeah, it was my fault. I didn't just well, it. So what's the next plan then? Cup of tea. Next plan is to just get them in again. We're going to take the lambs away and uh, one or two you and I think I'll just do a little bit of uh, extra, give them a bit of corn. Just got it run down. And we're looking at the feet. Oh, indeed, the feet, yeah. So we've just had our cup of tea break and uh, before that we wormed the ewes um, and yeah, as you can see they're walking back round. What we decided to do is get them back into the shed, start afresh this time and this time round we're looking for them to run past me here and, and then dad is on the race down here. So they're going to have to perform a fitness test so we can see who's lame. Uh, we've picked a few out that are um, on the thin side as well and separate off the lambs. And so if all goes according to plan, we should have a pen or two pens um, of sheep to work on and the rest can go out. So that's what we're going to try and do. They're okay. They're fine. So two lame ones. Where? Here with the purple dots on. So they're they're in the race now. So one okay and then one not okay. So one in the pen. Then one to go, then keep that one. Yeah. And then a lamb and keep the one at the back. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yay. Um, so these are all the U's now and they are going to go back out. We're going to get some lunch and then just a few more in the shed to finish off. Doris, go on. So sometime later, and we are in now this position where we've got um, a mixed bunch of old sheep um, and lambs. So we just need to worm now the lambs. Then the lambs are gonna then be divided into lame lambs and sound lambs. They're all gonna stay inside the barn tonight in two separate areas. The sound lambs can go out into the field tomorrow onto fresh pasture following on from the worming and the lame ones can stay in for a bit more attention. That is the current plan. We had to have a bit of an interlude where I had to go and get my car from Bakewell because it had its MOT this week and it failed first time. So we had to have a little bit of work done and then it is now past, so mm, 16 years old and still going strong. So from having quite a lot of lame lambs and problems, we've actually now just got four. Yeah, we've really... So I'm pleased. We, we, followed, the, uh, we followed the advice and, that we were given and it seems to have worked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hit anything hard, we? No. Hey? This is the one of the four quads um, that were born earlier in the year. I worked out who she was. She's not super duper friendly, um, but she's a little bit friendly. So decided that I wanted to keep her. And then this is Mary, who was born in 2010 and was a bottle fed lamb. And she's still here. She's just going to live out her days on the farm. Um, and now she hangs out with the lambs over winter and then over there that is Viv who is also a bottle fed lamb. Hello. I love the sound of them eating. Fresh grass. And I just want to say thank you for watching and please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't and you'd like to see more. It's a bit windy, move out of the way. Hopefully you can hear me. Yeah, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more from us. Um, love reading your comments. Try and get back to as many of them as I can. Um, and yeah, thanks for supporting us. See you next time.